Gemini, welcome to the Onyx Moon Tarot. Like, share, subscribe, and comment, Gemini. There's no gender in tarot. This is something that could have happened to you already. It could be happening to you now. It could happen to you in the future. Gemini, I am pulling on your sun sign of Gemini. Check your other placements. This is a collective reading for Gemini. If it doesn't make sense, you can negate the reading, and I'm okay with that because since it's a collective, there are other people in your energy. I could be pulling on a cross watcher. If it does make sense, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, I don't have a problem if you negate the reading. It's perfectly okay with me because, like I said, there's a lot of energy. Energy flips. I'm cool with that. I don't get all bent out of shape if it doesn't make sense and it's not your reading. Hit me up next, next week. Maybe I can get you then. Date. Meeting someone new. Dating. Getting back out there. Plan. Set a date. All right. That's cool. Like I told Aquas, you know what? Even if it doesn't turn into... The romance of a lifetime, this world is an ugly place, and people can be friends. You can have a friend. It's always nice to have a friend. Things don't always have to be that gone with the wind romance type of a thing, you know? Sometimes it's just nice to be able to have somebody that's a friend, that you're not having a beef with, that you're not having that weird tension, that anger. Just have a friend. Well, what did I say? That weird tension? Okay, so we've got some weird tension. We've got some arguments going on here. And we've got a lot of mind fuckery. Hmm. Could be from a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagittarius or Leo, possibly. Uh, Queen of Wands reversed. Usually the other woman. Some readers read that as a witch. I don't generally read to that type of... Uh, I don't fear monger. But if you feel that, that's something that's going on in your life. Just rebuke it. Four of Wands reviews, re reversed. Okay. Let's finish. If you feel that you have someone that is interfering through esoteric means, hexing you, cursing you, whatever it is, and you're fearful of that, then you just rebuke that because you're only giving it power if you're believing it. And I'm not saying people aren't out there doing that, but they're not out there putting your name in a jar, pissing in it, throwing in some rusty nails, shaking it up every couple days, you know, and then burying it. I'm not saying people don't do it. But you're only giving credence to it if you believe in it. So you rebuke it in whomever you believe in. Then you cut that power short. Then you send it back to them. Unless it's you doing this. Hmm. This reading is, this reading is like a Gemini. It's sweet and sour, sweet and sour, sweet and sour. And yes, it certainly is. All right, we've got some mind fuckery here. We've got the reverse Queen of Wands. As I said, another woman, another person, a third party. Let's, let's put it that way. It's usually the other woman or someone who can be Stirring up some trouble. Four of Wands is reversed. Your 11-11 card, your foundation in a higher level of commitment is faulty. It's wobbly.
but you have equal give and take with someone. So why is it wobbly? Because it's out of balance, but you have balance. Do you see what I'm saying? You've got balance and justice is reversed. There's, it's not balanced. But you've got the Ten of Cups, which is a happy home, one of the happiest cards of the deck. Something is, <coughs> excuse me, something's going on beside, behind the scenes. Somebody is wearing a mask. Somebody is doing something that's not being seen. I don't know if you're in a higher level of commitment, I'm going to say because of the Four of Wands. If you're not, you're getting ready to go there, or maybe you're just getting out of something, maybe not married, but something, some type of a commitment. Somebody's an oath breaker. Knight of Swords I usually see as Aquarian energy, but we could say that this could be you. There, somebody is an oath breaker. Somebody is in a higher level of commitment. Somebody's leading a double life. And that, I'm just, I'm just going to say it. They're letting you, or you're letting them, think everything's smooth and cool and we're good. And back at the ranch, we're good. But somehow, some way, it's not. They're playing with your mind. They're letting you think that it's good. Well, they've got a mistress. Which is wobbling your foundation. They smile in your face. And it's equal give and take. Coming home. Sitting down. Having dinner. Everything's cool. And it's out of balance. But we have a happy home. Where you are fulfilled spiritually emotionally physically financially and it's good but somebody's out there breaking their oath and it could be a knight of swords that you're dealing with knight of swords is very brash knights move quick they have missions they come in out in and out in and out knight of swords is um harsh. They're harsh with their words. They're impatient. They're all about action. They're warriors. They really don't give a damn for anybody's feelings. Page of Swords reversed. They're not they're not paying attention to this is a research card this is a spying card this is not this is not paying attention this is this is distracted this is not spying this is not this is not paying attention going through the motions not really paying attention I, Gemini, I don't know if this is your energy. This could be your energy. You could be this Knight of Swords. I have a Knight of Wands. Same thing. All about action. The behavior of the Knight of Wands is in and out, in and out. There for a good time, not a long time. Not wanting to be tied down. Not wanting to have a commitment. But speaking that they do, but you can't count on them. They're not consistent. There could be an issue with finances. And I could understand that there could be an issue with finances. And somebody's stepping out. How can you keep a house going when you're out living with somebody else?
There's heartache. Three of swords. So, somebody met somebody new. I don't know if that's you. As the Knight of Swords, behaving like this Knight of Wands. Or if this is somebody that's that you're dealing with. But there's heartache. Holding back. Withdrawing, holding back. Holding back on feelings, holding back on emotions, holding back on finances. Six of Swords reversed. Six of Swords is calm, wanting to go into calm. Six of Swords reversed is so not calm. It's, it's rough. It's it's doomed. It's arguments. Seven of Swords, lies, cheating, betrayal. Ace of Wands reversed, no inspiration, no appeal, no sexual interest. Gemini, I don't know if this is you or if this is, or you're going through this. I'm going to leave this here so it doesn't get worse. Give me a thumbs up if this resonates. Hopefully it doesn't. And I will see you next week.